Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to test for the presence of sulphate ions. You should also be able to explain the advantage of using barium nitrate solution in this test. And finally, you should be able to describe how to prevent carbonate ions from interfering with this test. As we saw in the last video, chemical tests are an important part of A-level chemistry. And remember that chemical tests are sometimes referred to as qualitative analysis. In this video, we're looking at how to test for the presence of the sulfate ion. Now the test for sulfate uses a solution containing the barium ion Ba2+. For example, we could use barium chloride solution or barium nitrate solution. Both barium chloride and barium nitrate are soluble in water. And aqueous solutions of these compounds contain the barium ion. Now if we add a solution containing barium ions to a sample containing the sulfate ion, then we form barium sulfate. And barium sulfate is an insoluble compound. In this reaction, the barium sulfate forms a white precipitate. So a white precipitate is the positive result for the sulfate test. Now, as I said before, we can use either barium nitrate solution or barium chloride solution in this reaction. However, barium nitrate solution has a big advantage of a barium chloride solution. If we use barium nitrate solution, we can go on to test the same sample for the presence of halide ions. And we're going to look at how to do that in the video on testing for halide ions. However, if we use barium chloride solution, then we cannot go on to test the same sample for halides. And that's because barium chloride contains the chloride ion. OK, now using barium ions to test for sulfate has one potential problem. If your sample also contains the carbonate ion, then this can react with the barium ion to form barium carbonate. And barium carbonate forms an insoluble white precipitate. So the presence of carbonate ions can give a false positive for sulfate ions. So before we carry out the sulfate test, we need to test for carbonate ions. And we looked at the carbonate test in the last video. To test for carbonates, we add dilute nitric acid. If any gas is produced, then we test this gas with lime water. If the lime water turns cloudy, then our gas is carbon dioxide, and our sample contains the carbonate ion. Now we can get rid of the carbonate by adding nitric acid to our sample until there's no more effervescence. This tells us that all of the carbonate ions have reacted. And at this point, we can then proceed with the sulfate test. In the next video, we look at how to test for halide ions.